helping to raise awareness of mental health. There is an upcoming fundraiser and we want to tell you about that this morning. Joining me now is Joe O'Mara. You're with the group Fresh Hope. Mm -hmm. um, Joe, before we get into the gala and we talk more specifically about that, let's talk a little bit about the prevalence of mental illness. It is more common than people probably imagine. Yeah, it is, and it's a challenge that we face. It's estimated that one in five people have a mental health challenge, whether it's undiagnosed or diagnosed. It remains to be seen sometimes, but it's pretty prevalent. And um, teen suicide is linked to being possibly the number one cause of death among teenagers, which is significant. Stigma is a real problem. Talk to, me, talk to me about that. Why is there such a stigma when it comes to mental illness? Well, it's an invisible illness. And like a lot of those, people think, well, you have to have the cast on your arm. It has to be visible. Um, otherwise, just buck up. You're just mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. And sadness isn't the same as depression. And so people are afraid to come forward because they'll be seen as less than or making something up in some cases. And there are a number of different mm -hmm. types of mental illness. That's right, that's right. There's um, depression and sadness are sometimes equated and it's not the same thing. There's anxiety disorders, there's all kinds of things that can um, stop someone from living a whole life unless they're invited into some kind of an environment where they're encouraged to do so. It, what is the biggest difference between depression and sadness? People, you know, they don't understand that. Well, depression is a clinical um, illness. It's a diagnosable clinical illness that can be treated. Sadness is something that you may, is temporary. It's seen as temporary where uh, depression is something you will live with for the rest of your life. Sure, and tell us about the gala. This is a fundraiser. Give us some details on that this morning. Well, we're really excited. It's our annual fundraiser. It's called Night of Inspiring Hope. And at it, we give awards to people from our support group network who have been living out the message of hope in spite of their illness. It's very important for our organization um, it's hope-based. We don't want people to just settle. We want them to be dealing with their um, illness on a clinical level, but we also want them to be able to live as full and enriched a life as anyone would. Well, Joe, we hope you have a very successful gala. Keep mm -hmm. working on your mission. We do appreciate you coming in this morning. If you'd like to learn more about the event, we'll post this interview and more information on KETV.com and in our mobile app later today. We're back in